Welcome, viewers. Today we have a captivating video where we dive into the life and legacy of Jonas Malhero Savimbi, a prominent political and military leader from Angola. Known as the founder of the National Union for the Total Independence of Angola, or UNITA, Savimbi's influence played a crucial role in Angola's civil war after its independence in 1975. From his early years to his controversial leadership and eventual death, we'll explore the enigmatic life of this key figure in Angola's history. So let's jump into the complex world of Jonas Savimbi. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Jonas Malhero Savimbi, 1934-2002, was an influential political and military leader in Angola. Best known as the founder and longtime leader of the National Union for the Total Independence of Angola, UNITA, he played a key role in Angola's lengthy civil war following its independence from Portugal in 1975, with his guerrilla warfare strategies earning him both respect and notoriety. Born in 1934 in the Portuguese colony of Angola, Savimbi was the son of a station master on the Benguela Railway. His early education in colonial schools in Angola led to a scholarship to study in Portugal, where he demonstrated a growing interest in anti-colonial politics. His activist leanings led him to China, where he received military training and honed his ideological convictions, greatly inspired by the principles of Maoism. Upon returning to Angola in the early 1960s, Savimbi founded UNITA to challenge the two other main independence movements, the People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola MPLA, and the National Front for the Liberation of Angola FNLA. The competition between these factions eventually sparked a long and brutal civil war following Angola's independence in 1975. As the leader of UNITA, Savimbi was a charismatic and enigmatic figure, known for his oratory skills and strategic acumen. He was a skilled guerrilla leader, known for his ability to survive in difficult circumstances and rally his followers. Despite being viewed by many as a freedom fighter, his brutal tactics, which included using child soldiers and widespread human rights abuses, earned him a reputation as a ruthless warlord. Throughout the Angolan Civil War, Savimbi and UNITA received support from various foreign powers, including the United States and South Africa, largely due to his anti-communist stance during the Cold War era. However, the tide turned against him with the end of the Cold War, as international support dwindled. Savimbi's resistance lasted until 2002, when he was killed in a clash with Angolan government troops. His death marked the end of one of Africa's longest and deadliest civil wars, leading to a ceasefire and the integration of UNITA into Angola's political system. Savimbi remains a controversial figure in Angola's history, seen by some as a symbol of resistance and by others as a ruthless warlord. His legacy, much like the civil war he played a key role in, continues to shape Angola's political and social landscape. We've now come to the end of our journey through the life of Jonas Savimbi, his story, marked by charisma, strategy, controversy, and conflict, played a critical role in shaping modern-day Angola. His legacy continues to provoke debate and influence the political landscape of the country. We hope this video gave you valuable insights into this significant, complex figure in history. Don't forget to like, share, and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. We always love hearing from you. Until our next video, Take care and stay curious.